to the semi-finals we go now over in the Asian Cup with only four nations left. Who's going to go through to the final one? Who's going to go home? We're going to take a little look. Nice. Today we're looking forward to the Asian Cup semi-finals over in Qatar with four nations left. To see who goes through to the final. We'll take a look at it all of it in a second. Of course, big big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you're new, where the hell have you been? Smash your subscribe button. You want stop shop for the Asian Cup continues here, as well as all the fiascos for Blackburn Rovers and world football right here under one roof. Here, of course, we have left with who do we have? Have we left? We have the hosts Qatar. They're still here. Of course, South Korea is still here. Uh, Iran and Jordan, of course, make up the the final four but which of those four uh, which two of that's four will go through to the final we'll take a look at it, all of it again right here right now so let's remind ourselves with our picks which of course were in those quarter finals then uh, we did have Tajikistan against Jordan of course that was a nil-nil draw was my pick penalties of course with Tajikistan going through but uh, what have I got going on here? I don't know what I've got here. Okay, this is my. These are a recap of my picks. I think I've got this all, all messed up here. We had Australia against uh, uh, South Korea. I went with a one 0 win. Uh, we had Iran against Japan. Two one win. Okay, okay. They, they, they were my picks. But here comes the final scores then. So I had Tajikistan against Jordan. I had, uh, of course, the penalties on that one uh, with Tajikistan going through. But uh, it was Jordan squeaking through just with the, just the one goal. They are through to, of course, a uh, Asian Cup semi final. They will play the winner of the Australian South Korea game. I did have a one 0 win for South Korea. Uh, it actually, in fact, was a 2-1 win. Very, very t uh, a crazy match that was. It looked like I think it was destined for penalties. But South Korea uh, snatched it in the end. Uh, of course, 2-1 win. They are here, despite, again, having a really uh, poor record. Uh, throughout this tournament, uh, and, and they're just I think I think it's it's just beggar's belief that they, of course, are here uh, at, at, at the moment. Anyway, joining them, of course, will be in the semi-finals will be Iran. Of course, I went with the two-one win for Japan, but it was a two-one win the other way. Team Medley, of course, doing the business uh, and getting through to an Asian Cup semi-finals. Of course, and they will be joined by the hosts. Of course, I went with the two-one win for Qatar over Uzbekistan. Again, I was really hopeful for Uzbekistan to go through, but penalties was the savior for the hosts, and they are through as well uh, to the semi-finals of their own competitions right here right now. I think they are the champions, right, if, I, if, I, if memory serves me. Those, of course, are the semi-final picks or, or the quarter-final picks. And, and, of course, we're going to look forward to that semi-final in just a second. We're going to recap the results, though, at how we got to this stage, of course, because it's, it's been a crazy tournament so far, just like the one over in the AFCON. So let's recap how we got to this stage. So Qatar chopped the charts over in Group A. Tajikistan joined them in the knockout stages. Uh, but, of course, we know about their fate. Meanwhile, the Aussies, and Uzbekistan represented Group B. Syria also joined them, uh, but of course they were eliminated early doors. Meanwhile, Group C's leaders or winners, Iran, uh, still in the mix there. Uh, of course, UAE joined them as runners-up. Palestine, did they go through? Uh, I think they may have gone through. Did they, Palestine? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, they did, of course, uh, uh, as well. Group D had Iraq. Uh, of course, uh, fantastic at the group stages. Pretty shitty in the in the knockouts. So Japan, again, had a really uh, bumpy competition, surprised um, uh, with their runners-up spot, uh, Indonesia into third there. Of course, all three of those nations got through. Bahrain topped the charts in Group E, as did South Korea and Jordan, who will meet again, guys. They did meet in the group stages. It was a draw, but guess what? We're going to have the, that match re redone. Be a deja vu coming at you as well. Then Group F, Saudi Arabia, Thailand, and Oman, of course, uh, who did... Uh, I think they failed to qualify, that's right. But anyway, those were the group stages, uh, of course. But let's remind ourselves, uh, of course, of the knockouts, that's right. Of course, how do we get to where we are? So here uh, we uh, go, guys and gals. A recap of those knockout stages. We did have Tajikistan. Oh, gosh. Testing my flag. No, I guess UAE, perhaps. Of course, we had Iraq against Jordan. That's right. We had Australia against Indonesia. Saudi Arabia against South Korea. On the other side, we had uh, Iran up against Syria. We had Bahrain, uh, Japan, Qatar against Palestine, Uzbekistan against Thailand. Those were the, the matches in those second rounds. Tajikistan coming on through, joining Jordan, of course, in those knock knockout stages, Australia and South Korea representing their 
uh, groups in the quarterfinals. Iran and Japan with a tasty one on the other side. Qatar, Uzbekistan in the quarterfinals, of course. And we now know uh, those four nations that got through to the semifinals. And here we go with that rematch, of course, from the group stage. It's Jordan, it's South Korea. It's coming at you on Tuesday, February the 6th over at the uh, Ahmad bin Ali Stadium. Now, these two sides have played other six times since 2008. We've got nothing for Jordan, four for Korea. Two draws, of course. Uh, Jordan, though, yet to get a win. But they have scored four goals in those six games. 0.67 goals a game on a ratio. South Korea, though, four nil win their biggest 11 goals scored in six matches 1.83 goals a game they're on 82 percent form our south korea right now haven't lost in the last 13 matches uh, of course uh, up against the jordan side on 58 percent form for them just one defeat the last five uh but these two sides did play each other in the group stages it was a 2-2 draw back in january 2024 uh, they did play each other before that uh way back in uh, november 20, uh, 2014 it was a one win for korea last time uh there is no last time uh but of course jordan's journey so far opened up with that four nil win over malaysia two 2-2 draw against South Korea, which, of course, we're doing again. Uh, a one they lost to Bahrain. They picked it up again, though, against Iraq. Big win for them. 3-2 winners. And then, of course, a one they win over Tajikistan to get to this tasty semi-final. As for Korea, they opened up with a 3-1 win against Bahrain. That 2-2 draw against Jordan. 3-3 draw against Malaysia. Some people saying it was a bit of a bit of dodgy sportsmanship uh, from South Korea to avoid Japan. But they're still here. And, of course, guess who's not here? Japan, that's right. And you never know. That bit of a 3-3-ness could be... A the difference but and, and right now it looks very very good uh better, better play there by Klinsman and, and the guys uh so um we'll we'll see if that comes into fruition as well they did uh, then take on Saudi Arabia in the knockouts penalties was the savior and then of course Australia in extra time goals coming up for them from Jordan Mahoud Mahdi has got two so far Suleiman also got a couple and Neymat has got two as well as for Korea goals from Sun Young Min he's got three Lin Kang Ging also got three so far in this tournament of course the odds 11 or 2 is your Jordan for the victory 15 to 8 is of course your South Korea and 3 to 1 is of course the draw which means penalties here I'm gonna back South Korea I think they're gonna going to have too much in the tank. Again, experienced team, a team that, you know, on paper should be in uh, the final here and, of course, should be challenging uh, for uh, at least quarterfinals and maybe more in the World Cup. They've got the players. Uh, have they got the coach? I don't know about that. That's, of course, something we've got to figure out uh, in, in years to come if South Korea and the likes of Japan or and even Iran can go and real trouble those uh, major competitions worldwide. Uh, so 2-1 win for me. They'll go through to the final, but who will join them, of course, on the other side of the bracket we have a tasty one we have Iran of course who've been uh, who are who are a force in world football up against the Qatar side with home backing that's right I think if this was played on neutral ground I think we can have one one uh, one result uh, uh, and of course um, but we are playing uh, on home turf for Qatar so let's get into this one coming at you on Wednesday 7th of Feb now these two sides will lock horns at the Altumana Stadium they play each other 11 times so 2006 7 wins for Iran 1 for Qatar 3 draws of course the biggest win for Iran was a 4 near win they've scored 16 goals in those 11 games 1.4 Four five goals again. Qatar though two nil win their biggest seven goals scored in eleven games. 0.64 goals again. They won five of the bouts. Have Qatar eighty three percent form for them right now. Uh, of course heading into this one. Iran though haven't lost in the last fifteen games. They've won at least six on the bounce here. One hundred percent form for them heading into this one. Now these two sides did lock horns back in October twenty twenty three. It was a friendly. It was a four nil win for Iran and they of course have won six. On the bounce, if not more than that. Now, let's take a look at Iran's journey so far. 4-1 win over Palestine in the group stages. Then, of course, a 1-0 win against Hong Kong. Followed that with a 2-1 win against UAE. Then, of course, penalties was the key factor against Syria. 5-3 victor there. And then, of course, 2-1 win over Japan as well. They've not been... Uh, they've not been... They've, 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 they've won a few, you know, tasty games goal-wise. Uh, and, and you know what? I think they're, 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 they're right to be here at this semi-finals uh, table here. And I think I did have them go into the final. So we'll see if I stand by my guns on this one. Meanwhile, the host, Qatar, opened up with a 3 0 win against Lebanon, a 1 0 win over Tajikistan, and then a 1 0 win over China. Followed that up with a 2 1 win over Palestine, and of course, penalties were the key factor against Uzbekistan. I think just one goal conceded for Qatar so far. Uh, the goals, though, coming at you from Iran. Of course, Taremi got himself three goals. He wasn't available for the match against uh, against um, who was it, Japan, so he'll be back. Uh, and Akram Afif has got four goals as well as two of the high scoring 
going uh, forwards in this competition will be up against each other. Quick look at the odds then. We have 11 to 8 on Azure Iran. 12 to 5 is the draw. 92 is, of course, your visitors, which is the host. That's right. Qatar on this one. I've got, I've, I've, I've gone with Iran from the get-go to go to the final. I'm going to go give it to them as well with a 2-2 draw, dragging it into penalties. And, of course, I think they'll have the now. And, of course, the experienced pro goalkeeper in there, uh, Ben Ravant, to seal the deal and get them through to a tasty final up against South Korea, which, of course, will be a zing-zong affair. Of course, could go either way. Coin flip, uh, of course, because I originally had Japan, Iran final. Now it's a South Korea, Iran final in my eyes. Who will come out on top? Of course, we'll take a little look in a set in, in the future days. A quick look at the odds, though. Uh, in the bookies, 12-1 to 1 is your Jordan. Way outside underdogs. Qatar are 6-1. to 1. We have 7-4 to 4 is your Iran. And South Korea are even Stevens to be the champions, of course. For me, we'll have to have that conversation another day. That is, of course, my pick. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Of course, smash your likey, likey. And, of course, we'll look forward to seeing you back again for the next round of games, which will be the final. That's right. Until then, I'll see you soon and be safe out there.